Good day all. My name is Munya E.M. from Middlebeck Campus. Today we'll be looking at Industrial Electronics N3, Chapter 6, SCR, which is Silicon Controlled Rectifier. When diodes and transistors are failing, they use SCR. In other words, it means when they need high voltages and high currents, they use SCR. Remember, in a diode, current flows in one direction. So in SCR, current also flows in one direction. SCR also allows current to flow in one direction. So for the advantages of SCR, it has low on resistance, high off resistance, low control power, and long life. Remember, as I said, when they need high voltages and high currents, they use SCR. So Obviously, when it has low on resistance, it means it has a higher current. So for the application of SCR, SCR it is used in electrical machines. And then applications such as relay controls, power supplies, inverters, car ignition, and then lamp dimmers. And then for the basic construction of SCR, an SCR it is formed by two transistors. So it is either <coughs> it is formed by PNP transistor and NPN transistor. Remember a transistor it is formed by two diodes. And then an SCR it is formed by two transistors. So an SCR <coughs> it has three junctions, which is J1 j2 and j3 and then this is a sample of a scr it's anode which is positive cathode which is negative and then it has a gate so the circuit it is forward biased when j1 is forward biased j3 is forward biased and j2 it is reversed biased and then the circuit it is reverse biased when j1 it's reverse biased J3 is reverse bias and then J2 is forward bias. So the circuit, even when it is forward bias, remember I said when it is forward bias, only J1 and J3, they are forward bias. And then J2, it is reverse bias. So when the circuit, even if it's forward bias, the circuit is not going to be on. So you can only turn on the circuit by applying a positive to the gate. When the positive is applied to the gate J2, will also be forward bias and then the circuit is gonna be on and then method used to switch the scr on we have applying a positive gate applying a positive gate current and then by increasing the anode cathode voltage to such an extent that the break over voltage is reached so, in other words, when they say by applying a positive gate current, remember I said <coughs> for a forward bias J1 and J3, they are reverse bias, and then J2, it is forward bias. And then the circuit will only be on when the positive is applied to the gate, then J2 will be forward bias, then the circuit is on. And then when they say by applying a positive gate current, they mean by applying a positive clock to the gate then the circuit will be on j2 will be forward by the then the circuit will be on is the one that i was talking about and then for by increasing the anode to cathode which is a break over voltage turn on so for this one when you apply more positive to the anode the circuit will be on so when the circuit it's on even when you remove the positive <coughs> from the gate the circuit is not going to be off <coughs> once the circuit is on the gate will lose control and then the gate when it loses control even when you remove the positive from the gate the circuit will still be on so we use the following methods to turn off the scr Reduction of anode cathode current below the minimum holding current. 
A holding current is defined as minimum current required to hold the SCR in its conducting state. <coughs> so by reducing a current below minimum holding current is the method that we use to turn off the SCR circuit. We have two methods, remember, is commutation and by reducing current to below the minimum holding current. So <coughs> When you connect a switch in series with the SCR, the circuit is going to be off. Remember when the switch is open, the circuit is going to be off. And then when the switch is closed, the circuit will be on. And then again, you can turn off the circuit by applying a switch in parallel to the SCR. When the switch is in parallel with the SCR, the circuit is going to be off when the switch is open. And then again, Again, by connecting a transistor in parallel to the SCR, the circuit is going to be off. <coughs> and then for commutation method, a commutation method, <coughs> the SCR is going to be off by applying a positive battery to the I mean by applying a reversal battery to the SCR. When a reversal battery is applied to the SCR, the circuit is gonna be it's gonna be off. Reversal battery it means remember this is anode which is a positive, this is cathode which is a negative. When positive is applied to the negative and then negative is applied to the positive, the circuit is gonna be it's gonna be off. And then let's check the circuit for the operation of the circuit when SCR is connected. For this one, it represents more practical circuits of SCR. And then for this one, when switch one is open, the SCR is going to be off. And then when switch one is closed, the SCR will be on. And then when the SCR is on, the capacitor will charge and then when you check s2 s2 is connected to the ground so when you close s2 the circuit is gonna be off because s2 is connected to the ground so it means annoyed it's it's made negative with respect to the cathoid then the circuit is gonna be off Switch one when it's closed, SCR is gonna be on, and then the capacitor will charge. When switch two is closed, the circuit is gonna be off because the anode is made negative in respect to the cathode. And then SCR characteristics. This one is the same <coughs> as the characteristic curve of a diode. Remember, for a diode, the current <coughs> will conduct when it is forward biased and will not conduct when it is reversed biased. When it is forward biased, <coughs> I mean when it is reversed biased, only a small leakage current flows in the reverse direction. When it is reverse biased, only a small leakage current will flow in the reverse direction. It means when it is reverse biased, it means J1 and J3 they are forward bias and J2 it is reverse bias. So it means the circuit will not conduct until you apply a positive to the gate. And then in the forward direction, when no gate has been applied to a small leakage, a small leakage current also flows. This is the one that I was talking about. The circuit will conduct in forward bias when a positive is applied to the gate. When gate current is applied, the SCR conducts. And then the SCR will remain on for as long as the anode to cathode current exit, the minimum holding current. So the circuit is going to be on. Even when you remove the positive from the gate, the circuit will still be on because the gate loses control. So in other ways, it means the SCR will only conduct when it is forward bias and then when it is reverse bias the SCR will not conduct. For a transient 
They saying a transient can be defined as a temporary short dura duration during which non voltage and current values change from existing values to new values. In other words, they mean <coughs> a transient, it's we can say transients they are unwanted voltages and unwanted currents. Yes, we can simply say they are unwanted voltages and unwanted currents. So in order <coughs> to eliminate the unwanted voltages, we use LC filters, zener diodes, and varistors. So you must be able to explain, you must know the following methods that they are used to eliminate transients. And then for control methods of SCR, we have static switching phase control, and then cycle control and cyclotronic control. So for static switching, for static switching is the same as a half wave rectifier. So for the operation of the circuit, you'll have positive, then you'll have negative. So during positive half cycle, is positive then it's negative so during positive half cycle the scr will be on when the switch is closed the scr will be on and then during negative half cycle remember after a cycle the polarity changes it means during negative half cycle you'll have <coughs> positive you'll have negative so in a circuit current flows from positive to negative then the positive is gonna be here and then when you start from positive remember and it is positive cathode it's negative when you start from positive the scr it is reverse bias and then when it is reverse bias it means it will not conduct so during positive half cycle is positive is negative you start from positive this one is positive is negative it means it is forward by then then during positive half cycle when switch s is closed the scr will conduct and then during negative half cycle the scr will not conduct this they are the waveforms this is the input voltage for ac this is the output for after SCR, this is the output. During positive half cycle, we'll have a waveform because SCR conduct. During negative half cycle, SCR does not conduct. We'll have a space. During positive half cycle, we'll conduct. We'll have a waveform. Negative half cycle, we'll have a space because it does not conduct. Positive half cycle, we'll have a waveform because it conducts. So for a full wave control, for a full wave control, the first one when the load is in series with the supply it's for ac voltage and then when the load is connected in series with the scr is for a dc voltage this is the input waveform for ac and then output waveform for dc for a full wave control and then for a phase control, a phase control, they use a timer to control SCR. So for the shaded area is for conduction and then unshaded area, it's off delay. So they use a timer to control the SCR. So off delay, it means the timer it is off and then on delay, it means the timer it's on. So they use a timer to switch the SCR on and off. So for a half wave control, they've used a timer to control the circuit during positive half cycle. The control circuit, the timer will be on, and then when it is on, the SCR will also be on. And then during negative half cycle, the polarity changes after a cycle. It means you'll have a positive, you'll have negative. During negative half cycle, the SCR, the timer, the control circuit will not be on, then you'll have a space. During positive half cycle, is positive, it's negative. And then when the control circuit is on, the SCR will be on, then we'll have a waveform. And then for a full wave control, 
during positive half cycle we have positive we have negative so during positive half cycle control circuit one will be on and then when it is on will turn on scr1 during negative half cycle we have positive we have negative only scr2 will be on the control circuit 2 will be on and then scr2 will be on and then for cycle control for a cycle control they use number of cycle to switch on scr to switch scr on and off so it means when they've used eight cycle to switch on the scr they're gonna use another eight cycle to switch off scr so they use number of cycle to switch scr on and off for cyclotronic control cyclotronic control is the combination of phase control and cycle control in other ways it means they've used a timer and number of cycle to turn on the circuit mm -hmm.